Welcome back to the Inside Edge with Wes Cussworth and my colleague Mark Brunger. Well, Wes, we know that uh, past players and also sponsors play a very important role in, in every club. And last weekend on the Sunday, Geelong City Sharks, they hosted a very successful past players and sponsors day. They certainly did, Mark. I spoke with current president Graham Beaumont and past president and a fabulous contributor to that club in David Neal. So you happy with the success of the sponsors and past players day? Uh, Wes, it's been fantastic. Uh, difficult times, hard to know what to uh, anticipate, obviously, uh, but at the end of the day it's been a, a wonderful success and really well supported by uh, uh, all sections of the career club, you know, past players, current, uh, sponsors, uh, so very pleased. Yeah. Now, you led the club to success a period of time ago, but at the same time to reflect back into past generations and to see some of the magnificent players that have come through the club must bring you great joy. Oh, absolutely. Look, uh, you know, I suppose when you look back at all the history there and you look at the players that have been uh, through the club over time, the club's got a lot of history, a lot of depth there that uh, days like today really make it very enjoyable and people to uh, be able to, you know, uh, enjoy the memories of the successes that they shared back then. Um, and it's been terrific. Yeah, look, can't, can't be uh, happier for, the, for not only the club but for all, yeah. And the return of Jack Driver and the continued good form of the first 11 and right throughout the club obviously must be, bring great uh, joy to you given the fact that um, the club is obviously striving to be the very best they can. Yeah, look, you know, we uh, unfortunately lost uh, three good players prior to the season start, which made, I suppose, the challenge a little greater. But uh, our success to this point, we're, we're very pleased with where we're positioned. Um, look, you know, yes, we, we would like to be a little bit higher up the ladder, uh, and possibly even in the club championship. But it's probably a pretty good reflection of where we're at at the moment. But the building blocks are there for uh, moving forward in the next couple of years. So, yeah, very happy. Yeah, it's been great, Wes. It's, uh, it's a recognition of uh, previous uh, glory that we've had and some success over the years, you know, 20, 30 year premiership reunions, but also to recognise the achievement that we uh, managed last season. Obviously, the fabulous memorabilia is a reminder too of uh, past glories. Definitely, when you look through that, you know, people have taken the effort to, uh, you know, laminate score sheets, uh, newspaper articles, uh, photos of premierships. It's, it's just wonderful, and you know, you can't replace that sort of thing. And it's testament today, everyone going back having a look at that sort of information and reliving those glories, which is fantastic. Past President Michael King spoke of the 85-86 success and obviously that was pretty extraordinary, wasn't it? 31 years uh, the drought was before it was broken. Yeah, that's right. It was great to hear from Michael too, um, you know, with his connection in the club, uh, you know, past president with us. Then he's obviously, um, you know, had a break for a while, been down at Geelong, had a spell, gone back to Geelong again this year. And it was nice to see Michael back at the club with us and to uh, reminisce on some of his uh, previous history as well and hear his stories. Geelong City's got a fabulous record of producing Geelong cricketers, whether it be sub-district or premier cricket or the like. Something that you really rate as a significant part of the club? Oh, definitely. We're very proud of the history that we've had with players going down to Geelong. Um, you know, and just this season, you know, we've had a couple come back to us already. You know, Tommy Treble and Jack Driver have come back. You know, Matty Elliott was down there. He's come back to us again this year. Um, and the, and Natter Blythe, you know, he was with us and he's gone down there this year. So, you know, to see those people go through the club, you know, from through our, our junior ranks, play the, the, the best level of cricket they can and then come back and give back to the local level, it's great to see that uh, circle, I suppose. And obviously handing over the reins to Graham Beaumont and he's doing a great job in terms of uh, engendering the interest in the club with events of this nature. Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, you know, after five years as president, I think they were sick of listening to me all the time and it's uh, nice to pass the baton on and Bowie's doing a fantastic job and, uh, you know, I took on secretary this year to help him out and uh, sort of be his 2IC, but uh, no, he's doing a wonderful job and, uh, and the club's in a great position and uh, really proud of where we are. So good to see the things that are happening down there at Richmond Crescent, Geelong City, celebrating their past players and sponsors day. Absolutely, Wes. And we've got a very big weekend of cricket coming up this weekend, of course, with the uh, non-played round from two weeks ago being rescheduled to this weekend. So it's a double header for Division 1, 2 and 3 this weekend. So a lot of cricket going on in the region. I can only imagine that the latter 
in each of those divisions is going to change markedly by the end of this weekend. Absolutely. And in a couple of the divisions, it's anybody's race. So it could be a very critical weekend for some clubs to stake their claim and others to start thinking about where their end of season trip takes them. And Mark, I'll give you the opportunity to pump up once again the highlight for you this coming weekend. Absolutely. Looking forward to getting down to the Geelong Cricket Ground this weekend. It's our Division 1 uh, Women's Cricket Final between East Belmont Deb and Ocean Grove down at the Geelong Cricket Ground. Promises to be a fantastic afternoon. Wes, be there or be square, I think, is the way it goes. Good work, Mark. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Catch us again next Friday night. Bye for now.